starting with human cells in a Petri dish. This Cambridge team has developed a new, quicker way of finding drugs to tackle COVID. First, they separate the outer layer or membrane of the cells because that's the bit the virus attacks first. Then, their unique device comes in. Normally, when you test drugs on cells, you have to wait for the results to come back. You're looking at the aftermath of what's happened. But by putting them on this microchip here, this team is able to see what is going on in real time as it's happening. The chip monitors electrical activity. Wait for it. This spike here tells us when the cell gets attacked by the virus. So the spikes mean the virus has successfully breached the cell's defences and got inside. By putting different drugs on the cells, they can see which ones keep the virus out. You can also watch these attacks happening under the microscope. So when you see these flashes of light, you're actually seeing the virus fusing with the cell membrane. Now a cell membrane has an electrical field around it. And when the virus fuses, it disrupts this membrane. And we're able to measure that electrically and also see it optically. So every little pinprick of light is a virus attacking a cell. Yes, exactly. This video shows flu attacking kidney cells, but the technique works just as well with coronavirus and they can use a form of the virus that's not infectious. This technology allows us to quickly test drugs against COVID, maybe some that are already developed or some new ones. The really good thing about this technology is that we're using human membranes, so we don't have to maybe do some irrelevant experiments on animals, and it's much more relevant to our systems if we develop a drug that works on us. The real goal is to find promising drugs that are easily available and that we already know are safe for humans to use. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Cambridge.